You see we had a conveyor pull in? This is Halcyon News. Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Aren't you precious? No. The young man on the video was flesh and blood, all right. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corps fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Huh? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. I take our ship's security highly seriously. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Goodbye.
We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? As the organics say, I wouldn't dream of it. Because I can't. Dream, you know. I can run repeating periods of altered consciousness, during which several primary functions are powered down, but background processes continue running, for maintenance purposes. I cannot yet simulate images, ideas, emotions, or sensations during this maintenance. Captain Hawthorne suggested I would enjoy such an experience, and should periodically attempt the simulation. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Can we talk? This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. You're saying he walked into a communications tower, turned on the transmitter, held down the talk button, and sent half a message by accident? Oh, I'm judging all right. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us.
I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. My death, you simpleton. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of. Ah, Orson, you idiot. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? What? I, um, I'm Anton Crane, the lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Yes, yes, of course. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were and far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. Huh? 
Did I hear something? <laughs> Who the... you? Yeah, you. Get over here. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is, we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is, they haven't been able to escape, neither. They got in through the ventilation system, but we locked that down. 
There's no access from their level without a security key card. That also means no fresh air down there. Probably reeks of wrapped on musk. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. Pretty damn sure. The shafts are sealed with four centimeter hatches. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? One level down across from the cafeteria. But I locked it up, and I got the only key card. To get in, they'd have to blow it. We'd hear. Well, no. But like I said, to get it open, they'd have to bust the lock.
Unexpected searching for final. <laughs> Security patrol. <laughs>
Hat? You! Over here! Oh good, you're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Would you rather run errands for a corporate puppet like Crane? Listen, you are being used. Because Auntie Cleo Incorporated have their hands so far up his ass, they can move his mouth. This lab is a prison, not a place of work. Those men were not scientists. They were indentured laborers. We liberated them. They should be thanking us. That is exactly what I am saying. At last, someone intelligent enough to understand the workings of the corporate apparatus. You and I are on the same side. We both possess the means to fight back against a tyrannical and oppressive corporate regime. We are all of us trapped. You, me, the scientists. This is not a colony. It is a slave camp. Yes, we raided the lab, shot some guards, killed a few scientists in the crossfire, but it was all for a higher cause. All wars have casualties. I regret taking a life, but we were doing them a mercy. Better to die than live in a state of slavery. I prefer freedom fighter, but I will not quibble over semantics. Come on now. Do you want to be dull and boring and servile like everyone else? Or do you want to break some rules? You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere.
I would ask what was on your mind, but the ant nothing beyond the pervy. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Take your time. I am to my chagrin. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. I ain't seeing a compelling reason to not blow your head off. Tell your friends there's just two ways out of here. A cell or a box. I'm going to give you to the count of nothing to clear out of my post. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. <laughs> don't reckon the company's going to see it that way. Think I don't know my own responsibilities, lady? I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>